Let's pick up our knife and fork. Index fingers in place, beautiful. And we're going to dine in the continental style, okay? And we're cutting gracefully. Beautiful. You're finished cutting that piece. Rest the right wrist. Ah, American, European. Okay, kind of hang the knife a little bit over the plate just in case there's some food on it. Okay, and pivot. So what we want to do is turn our wrist so we can bring that fork straight to us. So here's how we're going to do it. Do you mind? I'm going to come and assist you in just a moment. Thank you. So once you rest the wrist, you would just do this. Just turn your wrist, okay? Just pivot the wrist. Not necessarily bring it to you, just pivot, okay? Let's do that. Let's cut again. You're finished cutting that piece, rest the wrist and pivot. Almost there. You're doing great, almost. So here, when I say pivot, do this, do this. It's wrist action, okay? So, and pivot. Do that for me. And pivot, good job, okay? Now let's cut again, because I want you to do it all by yourself. You're cutting, you're finished cutting, keep that fork steady, keeping, and you're finished cutting, let's pivot. So what you don't want to do is pretend as if you're going to turn the fork upward because we never want the fork upward. Keep the fork down and just pivot with the fork down. Okay? Let's see. You're doing a great job. Rest the wrist and pivot. Just the wrist. Just the wrist. Do this for me. Loosen that wrist. Yes. Okay? Do it. Okay? <coughs> and rest the wrist and pivot just the wrist. Don't turn the fork upward. Yes. Do it again. Yes. I'm so proud of her. Give her a hand. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay. Now let's get some mashed potato on the fork. We're still in the pivoting situation. Let's get some mashed potato on the fork. Scoop it onto the back of the fork. Good. Not, not, not the pressure yet. Scoop some mashed potato onto the back of the fork. Rest the wrist. Rest the wrist. So you would rest it right here. And pivot. Let's do that wrist action. Pivot the fork. Yes. Let's do it with more confidence. Okay, good. Let's get some more mashed potato on the fork. Rest the wrist and pivot. Good, good. Now, how about some rice, the formal way? The formal way. So, the rice probably wouldn't be way up here. It would be like right here. Let's get the handle in your palm. Go ahead, get some rice, apply pressure. Good job. Rest that wrist and pivot. Okay, good. Now, let's get some more rice, the formal way. Apply pressure through those tines and pivot. Okay, now do you remember the informal way to place rice on your fork? Turn it over. So place that index finger on the side so it won't be awkward. Place it flat, and then what do you do with the knife? Between your body and, yes! Scoop it on, keep the fork in place, always. Scoop it on, rest the wrist, and pivot. Okay, let's get some more rise. Scoop it on, rest the wrist, and yes! Now what's the pause position in European style? That upside down B. Should the fork be upward? Good job. The handle hanging off, yes. Now what's the finished position? Finished position. Ah, get that knife back on the right. And should the jagged edge of the knife face us? What should you do? 
What should you do with a carbonite bar? <laughs> what should you, yeah.